The seventh day of Marcheshan comes, the Lord of Shavu, and the rain doesn't come, didn't come down. He's chilei chidim misanim, so individuals must start fasting. Ochlim b'shoyes mi bod yom, mishachashecham misanim. They can they continue eating even after nightfall, like we do nowadays and say shiva sarbat tamus. When we turn malachim, you have to do work throughout the day. Berichitza to wash yourself with a sicha, to anoint yourself with oils, with ilas or sandal to put on shoes, with a tashin shem and to have relations. You know, the, the way the Mishnah phrases is chiloy, it doesn't imply that it's a requirement, it just implies that my, almost like, almost maishu shahoya. Yeah, it's not a requirement. It's chiloy, it isn't. You're right. It is a maishu shahoya. So it's what individuals would do or would did. Right, yeah, it's not it's not a specific requirement. It's only the case. Who are these individuals? Were the leaders of the congregation? Why ask the Gemara? came to Parnas Just because you're a president of a shul, when you dive in, they're going to answer you, right? So, so <laughs> So if he was found to be the leader of the congregation, he must be a trustworthy person. So, once upon a time. And therefore, he's worthy to dive in and be answered. It's interesting that Torah and Shah Rishonimir brings down a bunch of Rishonim who actually had different gears in the uh, in the Gemara, which was Namon and he tzilu amin akzera. Seems like the par- paranosim in the old days actually saved Am Yisrael from, you know, decrees of the emperor, the emperor and things like that. So therefore, they were suitable to daven on Am Yisrael. Now, now we're going to talk, I uh, have a long series of maizim where people are suitable to to, to save, to, to daven on Am Yisrael. These are mamish like Hasidic stories. If I was not, didn't know you Shami, I would say this is written about the Baal Shem Tov. Mm-hmm. You'll see. It starts off as not so chassidish, but then it gets very chassidish. Chad for Barnash have a mafik master ketikna. A certain individual used to take off meisers properly. He was meticulous. Amle Ramona Ramona said, Ah, oh, since you are meticulous in that which has to do with the way the Mashbiach explained it, you're meticulous in that which has to do with the ground, then you are worthy to dive in for us. For the rain, which which is for the ground, so come arise and more and say the parshan ki savo, which talks about vidui ma'isus, about having given ma'isros properly. I took out everything which is holy from my house and gave it properly and diving for us for rain. Another fellow chad barnash asa gabi chad min krivit rabbiyana. Excuse me. He came to one of the relatives, Rabbi Yanai. Armelain, he said to Rabbi, to Rabbi Yanai's relative, Rabbi, Zakeim me. That's uh, Yushami lingo for Kimi Tztaka. In other words, be Zaych in the midst of Tztaka. And Mashul shows up at your doorstep, so he should say to you, I want to be Mizaki in the midst of Tztaka. So that's what he said, right? So Zaki Armelain, he said, uh, so Rabbi Yanai's relative said, wait a minute, don't you have money? The law of Allah, the Kapit and your father, if I have money, Amrali lo, said, no, my father didn't have money. Amrali, so the relatives said, what are you talking about? Gabai, or Gabai nun. The money's by me, um, if Katin, right? Gavin, um, if Katin. It's collected and safe kept by me. Amrali, so he said, no, Shmai, so he had a book, her concerning them, the Inun Sakin, that it's stolen money. And that's why I don't want to have have it. Okay, so I, even though he had, there was money which is in his name, left in his father since he stole money, he didn't want, it was ill gotten gains, he would rather go and beg. Or Merlay, Sarabi Yara's relative said, Kidayat Matzlai Misan, you're the type of person who can dive in and be answered. Ischami Lurabona Palon Chamra. The rabbi saw a certain donkey driver, Yatzle, that he could dive in Umitra Nachas. They either saw him do it or they saw in a vision that he could do it, so that he davens and rain comes. Shalom Rabbanu Vaisuni. So the rabbis came, sent and brought him. Armalei, they said to him, Ma'amunach, what is your craft? Armalei, they said, Chamora, no, I'm a donkey driver. Armalei, so they said, Umatibo Varta, what good thing have you done? Armalei, they said, I'll tell you. 
Chadman or Gras Chamri, once I rented out my donkey, Lachada Itos Isa, to a certain woman, Vavas Bachio, and she was crying, Gorista on the street. Vamerson, I said to her, Malach, what's your, what's your problem? Normally she said to me, Baila de he eat this of my husband. Literally the husband of that woman, but my husband. Chavish is in prison. Vana Bon Machami and I wanna see Mami Abbot what I can do, Umafanine, and get him out of prison. So what I do, says the donkey driver, Vizanis Khamari, I sold my donkey, Vyavis Lachtimase, and I gave to her the the son which I got. Ramas I said to her, Halech, here's this for you. Pani Balach, em, uh, uh, free your husband. Velo Tachte, do not sin, because she was obviously looking for illicit ways to make the money. Yeah. Um, Amrulay, so they said to him, see, this is Mamish, see the Shemai, so right, Kedayat, you the donkey driver, a suitable Mitzayi, Mitzayi, to that one get responded, but it gets better. It's Ham the Rabbi Avo, Rabbi Avo saw Pantkaka. Pantkaka means evildoer in five ways. Pent is five. Kaka, I guess, is like a kilkul, right? So they saw a man called Pant Kaka, so that he should yatsa, he should da masimit from where nachis some rain will come down. Yatsa vasimitro, nachis mitro, the rain came down. Shalchai vos and vos and for him, I say, and brought him after he died successfully. And here's a big type of korban such means the next few words instead be Ormale. So he said, Mamanoch, what's your craft? Ormale. So he said, I'll tell you. Chamesh Averon, five Averos, I do five Averos a day. Like my name, five Averos a day. What do I do? Mogar Zanaisa. I'm, uh, I, I hire out prostitutes, meaning I'm, you know, I don't, don't want to say the word, but you know, I'm in charge of hiring them out. Right? Meshaper Titron. Now this is not just, this wasn't stamp Brass was a whole operation. They had a, they had a theater there, now, you know, like a adult mm-hmm. theater. So I'm a shop at Titron. I would, says Titron, I would set up the theater for them. Mayo Monein Lebnei Matbach, I bring their, their, the, the costumes which they wear, the, um, the bunny, so I'm and the bunny, I bring their, their, their costumes to the, the launderers. Metapech Meraki Kodomeon, and I uh, dance, and I, I clap and dance in, in front of them. In other words, I play like the instruments when they're performing their um, their show. Mekamakish Pivovaya, come on. And I also play a certain uh, a certain type of uh, a Khalil in front of them. So I'm, I'm involved in the whole, whole, the whole shebang, right? I'm the producer of this whole for prostitution racket. On my way, so they said, hmm, that doesn't sound like a good reason for it to dive in for rain if he answered. On my way, so they said, what good thing did you do? On my way, so they said, I'll tell you, Chatzman, so one time, have a hook, I have a shop at Teatron, I was setting up the theater. I saw Chada Isa, a woman came, a Kambasa Choria Mudit, she stood by, behind the, the pillar, back and she cried. Vamir said, I said to her, Malach, what's the matter? Varmali and she said, Bala that he eat the saw my husband Chavish is in prison, Vana by Mechami, and I want to see my mea, but what can I do? In other words, what prostitution I can do. then I'll get him out, Zavn uh uh get him out from prison. So what I do? Zavnis are say I sold one of the beds. Pros are say with the bed spread. He obviously Timase and I gave her the son but Amrullah and I said Halach, here's this for you. Pani Balech, get your 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 um, husband out of prison, and below that then he won't sin. I'm relay, so this is you have a bigger position than this. I'm the Kedai at Matzai Misanya. You indeed are one who's worthy of davening and being answered for the for the for, uh, and being answered for the rain. Okay. Ischame, now this is the next Maisa is, is in the Bavli with slight differences. Ischame, the Rabbana, the Rabbi say Chasusua, that Chasida the Kfarime, the pious person of Kfarime, it says in the Bavli it was Abba Chilkia, the son of, I think it was the son of Choni Ma'agil, if I remember correctly. So in any event, they saw that he was the Yatsa, he could dive on Mitronachs and the rain will come. So the Rabbis came to his house to talk to him. So his wife, literally members of his household here, means his wife, said, Betura, who is out in the hills tending the fields. 
who you asked if that's who you're sitting. Nafka Rabbi, they went out to him. Armalei Asher, they said Ayasher, which usually means Asher Koyach, but here it means Shalom Aleichem. Velo Agibun, he didn't respond. Yosem Mechul, he sat down to eat. Velo Amarlon, he didn't say to them, Aton Krikhin, come and eat with me. Mi Olal, when he was about to go home, go in to the city, Ovad Chat Movel Dekisin, he made one pack of twigs. Vyoyev Gulsa, Maro Movel, and he put his clothing, instead of putting it on, he put it on top of the load. Oral, he came to the house, from the base, and he said to his wife, In Rabbonin Hocha, boy, Nately, these rabbis here, they want us to daven, Vyechus Mitra, and the rain should, should come down. If, however, we dive in and the rain comes down for us, can I alone? It's, it looks bad for the rabbis. If not, now what's exactly Chil Hashem is not clear, but uh, the Mashbiach says the Chil Hashem is that um, if they're going to dive in and now Hashem is not going to answer them, so that's a Chil Hashem because everybody expects that they'll be answered, right? So therefore, what are they going to do? Ella, what we'll do is we'll dive in before they ask us. And that way, they won't know whether they we're actually being responded to or not. And that's what it says here. Well, I say, oh, no, Vat, come, me and you. Nesu, let's go up to the second floor. And it's saying, we'll go dive in. Enochaz Mitra, if the rain comes down, on an army, we'll say, on an army, we'll say to rabbis, Kvar da avdun shmaya nisin. So the heavens already made the miracles, vain, uh, 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 and you don't need us. Mean loan. If not, uh, on an army loan, uh, 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 we'll say to them, "Lay so on Kedem Yisrael, we sign you. We'll refuse. We will make ourselves not as if we dive already, but we'll pretend that we refuse to dive because we won't be answered." The Salkin. So they went up. The Salkin. They dive and Nachos Mitzrayim and rain came. Nachos Lagabon. Then they came down and finally, finally started talking to them. Armelin said to them, "Lama Atrivin Rabban Alacha. Why did the Rabbis come to hear. How do you say me? It, 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 who knows Yiddish? You know Yiddish? Mm-hmm. What does treftzuch mean? It happens. It happens to to meet somebody. Isn't that called uh, to. But a treftzuch is like a happenstance. It's yeah. not a planned meeting. But if you meet somebody, that's called to, to trapping, isn't it? Isn't that the word? Yes, I think you're right. They call them getrafen? Is that the. Getrafen, because here it's the same word in, in Aramaic. Lama itrafun rabban alacha. Why do the rabbis happen over here? You know, trefen is the same word. So, yom uh, adain today. Amalei, so they said, boy, titzli, we want you to dive in vehicles mitra, and the rain should come down. Amalei, so they he said to him, it's you need my davenik, kvar dov, then shemayin, he said, you already have miracles from shemayin. You don't need me. Armelay, so they said, Baloney, we know it's you. Armelay, so they said, Lama, Lama, they want to answer us as the final questions. First of Lama Kara Vesim, so why when we're out in the hill, Armin Lachay Asher, we said to you, Olo, Vila Givtun, and he didn't answer us. Armelay, so they said, I'll tell you, Davina, I seek my Pulosi, I'm a hired hand. I was involved in my labor. So, Mahavina Masa Daitim Pulosi, what would be if I would. Be mesiach das, I would get um, what's the word um, distracted from my work. I, 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 I truth is that the the bavli sounds like even to say hello is forbidden when you're working with somebody else. So that really uh, that always bothered me. But now I he understand and you show me more because you show me really explain. It's not that it's also to say hello, but we're chayshish. He was afraid if he said hello. So he gets sidetracked because they want would want to start engaging in conversation already. And since he was paid by the by the day, not by the by the work, so every moment he was a uh, hold of his balabai. So therefore, he didn't want to be mesiach das and and uh, shortchange the, his his uh, employer. Amalei um, said, "Fine." Why when you sit down to eat? Why don't you say to us, Eason Krochen, that we should come eat with you? They said, I'll tell you, I only had pieces of bread with me. Well, my own, Palchi, my own piece of bread. Why would I tell you eat with me? I, I, would, I couldn't have any, wouldn't have anything to give you anyway. It would just be Mechanfin. It would just be, uh, you know, uh, flattering, you know, 
Gnevas Das. I would have true would have showed as if I wanted to be hospitable to you. I couldn't have been hospitable to you even if I wanted to. So therefore it would have been it, it would just have been an improper thing to say. Armalay so he said, Loma Kara the Osis the Mayo, why when you were about to come home, you have this good tomorrow move you put your shirt on top of your pack of twigs. Armalan so he said the shirt is not mine. Shaula have a I borrowed the shirt to dive in. It's like a jacket, I guess. So he borrowed a jacket to dive in, and he said it's not mine. If I wear it when I'm walking home, I might come up against some uh, some uh, thorns and thistles, and I get ripped, and I don't want to rip somebody else's shirt. Okay. Mavina buzz mavzol yasa. What be if I ripped it? Armalay so he said v'loma kad havi atpetura. Why, when you were in the hills, eat the sach love shemayin so your wife wore this, the disgusting clothing. The chayat olamitur when he came from the hills, he loved shemayin the king. She wore nice clothing, clean clothing. Armelon so he said kad the unava b'tura when I was in the hills, he loved shemayin so and she wore bad clothing. Lo yitim by nashi ene Allah that nobody else should look at her and have desire her. The kad the unat olamitur when I came back from the mountain, he loved shemayin the king. She put on clean clothing. Loniten a ni that I should not look be so at any other wife except for mine. Armule, so they said, You're such a big chassi. Yos at matzle and misan, you're just not a chassi shemais, you're a great lift for shemais, because he was taka pious. Right? So they said, You're a taka, some of you suitable. Tani, we learned, Amutu lacho when was lati that shior hamit on the tiniest morning. I shior hamitzak until the eastern sky is illuminated. Divi Rebbe Shimon Gamliel. Divi Rebbe, sorry. No, only until the rooster crows, which is earlier than that. Okay, so uh, uh, um, the Tamura um, Shachar, the the Torah and Shorishan brings down that it's Tamura Shachar. Tamura Shachar is not when the entire eastern sky is illuminated, but when there's a light on the horizon. Then Ray the tiny goal starts, uh, the rooster starts uh, to cock a doodle doing. So that's the time, until that time you can eat, but not beyond that time. Matam Lomar Kriya Sagever, what it says, what does it mean, Akriya Sagever? So the two words missing here to take Konarif Tani Gola when the rooster crows. Now, Yoshan Va'omet, if a person ever went to sleep at night and then got up early in the morning, also is forbidden to eat, but Shalom eat enough if he didn't make it tonight. Because that, that which Chazal said that the, form, the fast starts in the morning is only if you're up all night or you made a condition that when they get up in the morning before daybreak, so I should be allowed to eat. I've, uh, so otherwise it's prohibited. I believe no, but if you did make such a condition, stipulation verbally, then Mutu then you can get up early in the morning to eat before a Mutu Shachar, even after you went to sleep, which we, we, we still do, right? Some of these Hasidic stories remind me of uh, in the Baal Shem Tov, the son came to shoot Yom Kippur and he didn't know the Dhamma, but he went Yeah, the kid knew the whistle, right, yeah. the same idea, right, the same the idea. Story, I, just, I thought it was by Rebbe Yitzhak. That I've heard about with Baal Shem Tov. I think in the Reb Zevin brings down from the uh, okay. Baal Shem Tov. I think so. Okay, but they're interchangeable. It's like sure. all Chassidish stories. You just fill in the blanks. <laughs> <laughs> they all look like anyway. All right, they all look like anyway. You hear a Scottish kid slave. A Scottish kid slave comes. The lady who showed me the rain tonight. night had fall. Based in Gozim Shosh Tanil Satir, basically it's three fast on the, on the community. That is official decree, that right? That had nothing to do with the Mishnah. What? That had to do with Parnosim. The Yechidim. We started with Yechidim or Parnosim, and then we got to describe who are the Yechidim who should dive in for Kla Yisrael. Okay? So we got into a Gadata. The year is Chodesh Kisav Lured, the Kshami in the rain did not fall. Based in Gozim Shosh Tanil Satir, but they make three formal Tanesim. Now these ones for, for, are still that you can eat and drink at night. Umutayim was allowed to do melacha work, rechitza washing, sicha anointing, vanilla sasana putting on shoes, tashramita and relations. I'm right, Biochlan. Call tiny shabbat and goes on obviously any time shabbat and decrees that people have to stop eating from before the tiny begins. Ainu boros menikos uh uh. Um, many, uh, 
Enebus Menikos Misanos Plan. The Ubaras and Menikos do not have to fast on them. They don't have to fast on them. Why the, the, the women who are pregnant or the women who are nursing in order not to hamper the development of the fetus or of the young baby. All right, sure, it's like, I want to say distinctions, uh, he says. I think that's true. When there were pre- these tanesim, the more severe ones, were preceded by less severe tanesim. In other words, the tanesim, when they decreed, the rabbis decreed to stop eating from before the day, the, the, the night falls. Uh, when they are preceded by tanesim, where they did not have to stop eating for nightfall, such as those mentioned in Mishnah. So then even the later Tanesim are not as severe, and Uboros and Minikos don't have to fast. Pregnant or nursing woman, sorry. I mean, goes to me, I'd seek, but it's a type of, uh, of uh, travail, such as an immediate danger as opposed to a rain issue, where they immediately start with a series of severe Tanesim, causing, requiring people to stop eating from before the time begins, so then, in that case, Uboros Menikos, for that type of fast, is so severe, even the nursing and pregnant women at Misano's bomb had to be Misano. The tiny can we learn this? Uboros Menikos, the, these women, uh, 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 pregnant and nursing, Misano's Kedaka, with Tishbav Yom Kippurim. They have to fast the normal way at Tishbav Yom Kippur. Why? Because these are the, the fasts which are not preceded by warm up fast, so therefore they're fully severe fast, and therefore Boros and Menikos do fast in days, and this in fact is the Sakalach Lamaisa. Okay, most women are supposed to fast even if they're pregnant or nursing on Tishbav and Yom Kippur. Um, Vishos Tanidas are showing us. Now here the gears is a little bit tricky. I'm going to change it, even though after I went through the Gemara, I, I realized one doesn't have to change it, but uh, Carbonate led me astray, so to speak. So I'm going to remain with the uh, changing of the gears as Carbonate does it. So uh, uh, show, uh, uh, it should be Avol uh, Bishalosh Tanidas Rishonos. I'm sorry, Bishalosh Tanidas Rishonos. I stood on middle line. Besides, and the first three tanesim, if these tanesim are tanesim which begin be from before nightfall. Now, what? Where the the well, they always to make a series of three. You know, behalf Monday, oh. Thursday, Monday. So the first uh, three, if there goes on those three. Like Tishma Yom Kippur to stop eating from beforehand. And now it should be Avol Bishol but if the, if the the first three were ones in which people ate through the night, and so it's the second set of three which people are forbidden to eat during the night, and uh, also Ubisheva Achoros the last seven fasts. These are fat, series of fasts we'll get out, get to in the next few Mishnayos. So since those two sets were preceded by a set in which there was no fasting during the night before. So, in beside by him, the women, the pregnant ladies, and the nursing ladies, do not, the ladies do not have to fast. Ava biche, nevertheless, ena menago sats mutafnuki. They're not allowed to, even on days when pregnant, the nursing ladies have don't can don't have to fast. They cannot have delicacies. They can only eat drink that which is necessary for the sustenance of the child, the, the fetus. It's interesting that Orza Rua, the Orza Rua, says that even when the Tzibur is fasting, Bahav, you know what Bahav is? Yeah. Uh, you know what Bahav is? Oh, uh, yeah, that's the uh, Monday, the Tuesday. How do you know what it is? How do I know what it is? Yes. Because I follow it. What? Because I follow it after. Because you follow it? Yeah. Don't you down with us? Yeah. You don't follow it? Because Chabad doesn't follow it. Uh-huh. Chabad doesn't know from it. Oh, well, I did. Where's your before Bnei Ruvain? Oh, uh, actually, I'm not one. Oh, so they must do it. The, the rabbi suggested that most people don't do They say slichas, though. Yeah, but, but Lubavitch doesn't say slichas. Uh, 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 so the Orza Rua says, Bahab, Bahab, you're supposed to actually, even those who don't fast, are supposed to diminish the delicacies which they have in the day in sympathy with those who are fasting. 
In the course of my life, I only know one. I've only met one person I know who fasted behalf, though. Mm. Have you ever met anybody who fasted behalf? Ever met anybody who fasted? Yeah. So I only met one person, a friend of mine actually, who fasted behalf, but uh, since then nobody. So uh, <laughs> since, since for the, uh, in, <coughs> I, I I I haven't davened in a shul which says slichus on behalf now since so I came to yeah. Chicago. Because uh, Lubavitch doesn't say it. But, uh, I really messed up. What? I really messed up this program. No, it's next week. Oh, next week. It okay. didn't start this week. It didn't start oh. next week. So, uh, still time to do repent. So, uh, uh, I, mess up, I mess up the holidays, so I always do a trick. Does it make we have to atone for him? Okay, that's what they meant for. So in any event, which is amazing to say, because Bahav is really just a minute, but uh, nevertheless, he says, uh, the Orzor says, in sympathy, you have to be somewhat abstinent on those days. The next word, low, I would take, I think you just take out. It says, it says, This is only, this is, as I said, this is only where the first three Tanesim are Tanesim with such severity that they're, they're already made order from the beginning with a gzera not to stop. In other, wor- in other words, that you, uh, 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 um, wait, wait, bishagazukfar. No, it should be actually bishagazukfar lafsik, which is explaining that when the first three tanes and the women have to fast, if they started from scratch already from the from the beginning with the gzera to be mafsik. So it's either bishogozu kfar lafsik or lo bishogozu kfar shlo lafsik. You know, either double negative or positive, which is the same thing, right? That, you know, the, to when the women have to fast, those three fast. When those three fast are fast, which start from scratch for, in, with full 24-hour fast. Where the first fast, again, as we said, the first fast in the series were 12-hour fast. Even the next fast, which are 24-hour fast, women don't have to fast. But the first fast in the series are 24-hour fasts because the situation is so severe, so then even the women have to fast those 24-hour fasts. That's what Gemara holds. Says Gemara, no, not true. As we said at the beginning of the Gemara, Asa, Rabbi Ba, Barzavda, Rabbi Yitzhak, Rabbi Tal, B'Shem, Rabbi Yitzhak, said, if you look at Yad Lavsik, even if they did the first fast they made with 24-hour fast, ain't a Boros, Menikos, Misanus, Bam, the pregnant, the nursing women do not have to fast with them. Now, this Gemara didn't refer to Tainus Esther, didn't refer to Shabbos or Betamus. Well, those are not Tainus Tibor. They're not Tainus Tibor? No. Where are they? Tainus Yochid. Is it Tainus Yochid? It's a Tainus Yochid, Yochid which everybody fasts. There's a difference. No, Tainus Tibor is by definition one which is 24 hours. Okay, uh, except for these three. But uh, uh, the, the, obviously the tightness of uh, the, the status in Allah of Shiva Sarva uh, I think I've told you this in the past, I'm pretty sure I did, that um, in Stockholm, on Shiva Sarva they only fast till 9.30 at night. Well, that's because it's the last night. Because of the sunset. Yeah, because Tishma, the Tishma, they fast till like midnight, right? So the question is why at the the what what right do they have to do that? So the Nachal Eshkol, a nineteenth century postic, he said, since our Tanaisim, except for Tishbab Mion Kippur, have a status of a Tanis Yochid. So Tanis Yochid is whatever you're Makabo. So in Stockholm they're Makabo, she was served Thomas only until nine thirty. Nowadays really they don't have this meaning. Now I think they fast the whole time, but uh, that's uh, Nachal the Nachal Eshkol's logic. It's a nice logic. Just think how easy to us to uh, a summer baby is in Stockholm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it must be four hours in Stockholm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, what one should do is travel for a tish- to Shivasarvam, the Tishabov to Australia. Right. Right. That's the way to do it. Never thought of that before. Or Johannesburg. So, Johannesburg, right. Antarctica. I'm a little nano. If these um, if these uh, uh, if these fasts pass the first three, so we are ready the three of the. Yichid. Oh, for sure, yeah, for sure, yeah. That's even lighter, li- lighter because it's a nizka in and of itself. Because one was Dalia murder on Rosh Hashanah, and so that's uh, that's uh, that's the easiest of them. 
Except for tonight's Bechoros, of course. Over here, below now, if these are the, the... So we have the three fasts for Yechidim, and then the three fasts for the, the, the community. Now, if these pass, and they were not written, they're not to answer, basically it goes from Ochoz, Tanius, Otibor, and these are severe ones already. All of them well, you can only eat and drink from before that fast begins. But certain Lachem one is forbidden to work, or Chitza, and wash, bathe, and seek or anoint oneself in toil. We need to sign up, put on shoes with Tashemita and, and relations. But not only is it so it's not only that you just lock the bass in the bass houses. The Mesir Shem Yirmiya said, Although uh, the Isra Malacha is not one which has to do with the Yontif character, nevertheless, Isra Malacha, but Tainis, see what somebody does, Malacha and a Tainis, because Isra Malacha and Yonkur is the same thing they do in Malacha and Yom Kippur. My time of why? Because the Pasuk says, Kichu, excuse me, and Kichu song, sanctify the fast, Kirat Torah and call an assembly. So you see, it has a, uh, it's given the terminology of Kadosh, which is associated with the bona fide Isra Malacha. Ah, didn't we learn, but Tanya, did we learn in Brisa, Lailam Mutar, even at I see where Malacha is also, it's only also during the day, the Lailam Mutar, the night is permitted, it's only a Yom Asr, it's during the day, it's prohibited. Um, Rabbi Zira, uh, Rabbi Zira said, Kaima Abu Yibar Yirmiyah, he said, Abu Yirmiyah explained that that's also based upon the because it says, Kichu Tzom Kira Tzara Isfu Am, gather the nation. So when is it good, the, the, the Tzom have a status if it's Kodesh, then what is forbidden to work only from the time the nation gathers, when's that? In the morning. Now, interesting series here. The Shaya the Nohagon, the women are the Menach, the Lola Mebat Uvda, not to do work, but Puke Shabbos, when Shabbos goes out, Ain't no minute, it's not about minute, they're just trying to get out of doing the dishes. Okay? <laughs> However, if they have a minute at the Spanish teacher, they don't do work until the men get out of shul. The Spanish teacher means uh, until they finish saying, the, the, leave the base medrash and come home. Minuk, that's a valid minuk. But Sraya Chamishto women have minuk not to do work on Mondays and Thursdays. Ain't no minute, it's not a valid minuk. At the Spanish Tanesa, those are minuk not to do work. Until the tinus is over on a tiny seaboard, that's a minute, that's about a minute. Beyond the rafter, women who have a minute not to work, Arab Shabbos and Arab Yontif. Right? So far, they've examined themselves Monday, Thursday, Fridays, and Motori Shabbos. So, cavalting these women. <laughs> so, uh, 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 it's not a minute, ain't a minute. But those are the men not to do work on Friday afternoon after Mincha time in Suz, that's a valid minute. Beyond the Yachasim of the women, I have a minute not to work on Rosh, Rosh Chodesh, minute that's a valid minute as well. Um, Rebbe Zir Zir says, Nishaya the Nagan is the lonely Mishtaya. Women who have the custom not to be Mishtaya. Now, Mishtaya can have one or two meanings, and the Rishon bring that both meanings. Either Mishtaya means, what would you say it means? One is drinking, the other is staying someplace. No, one is drinking, that's right, Mishta. The other one is Shesi. Shesi as in Shesi for Erev. What's Shesi in Erev? Uh, weaving. Weaving, right, so they have a minute not to weave. So the two versions, one is that they have a minute not to drink, and the other is a minute not to weave. So, mean the odd, all the different times that Rosh Chodesh Al comes in, Minik, that's about Minik, why? Shebo, Paska, Evan, Shesia. Because the Evan Shesia was destroyed at that time, and Evan Shesia, the language of Shesia, can either have to do with drinking, as in Shesia, or in weaving, as in Shesi. Okay, my time. So, what is the Erev Shabbos? No, since Rosh Chodesh Al. From Rosh Chodesh Al till after Dishabov. Okay, my time of says this, Ki HaShos is the foundations, the images here, the earth soon were destroyed. Amra HaChidi HaChidi said, Call out for a minute. Don't make fun of a minute, everything is a minute, right? So therefore, we maintain the uh, status of Nogim. And sit, what? Strange statement. What? Strange statement. It's white probably too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't say, he doesn't say call it Vermo Elu. I think that's what he meant. I can't prove it to you. I think that's what he meant. Um, there's in, there's, along these lines, are, there are exceptions. Oin the sheetin ha'avun b'mitav tzavaya. 
There were there was sick uh, there was a sheet of what I, I I don't remember what it is I think it's sycamore wood but I don't remember in in, in Tzivaya, and tradition had it that this is the wood from which Yaakov cut down trees in order to take down the Mitzrayim but in order that the Jews should eventually use it to build the Mishkan as an Ati Shiti Momdim which is made out of standing planks of wood so uh, so they didn't cut him down ever that was their tradition so came Rabbanan of the friend of the rabbis can we, can we forsake our minute and use this wood and so he said no since your forefathers forbade themselves to do so don't deviate from the um, the minog of your forefathers rest their souls that's a one reviewer, Rebbe. Rebbe Lezer, Hashem Ayavun, Lezer Ayavun said, "Kol davar shu mutter." Any time it's really mutter. No, there's no inherent prohibition to using the trees. Whatever Yaakov took, he took, but he didn't make whatever remained behind Kodesh. So, kol davar shu mutter. Anything which is inherently permissible, vutoebo. A person makes a mistake and thinks of iser, that's forbidden. Nishal, he can be be shoel nedo matino. We can permit it for him. The chol davar shu yodeh shu mutter. Anything which you know is permitted, but vunoebo is but you 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 nevertheless conduct yourself as if it's prohibited. Nishal, even if you try to be matir neder, a matir law, we do not permit it for you. Okay, so it depends what the motivation of these people were. Birachita. Now let's wash. You can't watch the rest of your body, but you can watch your hands, uh, your hands, your face, and your feet. You can wash your hands, and then my very point of you can uh, pass over your face, but not actually watch your face, because this is because of my velus. The Yom Kippurim. You're not even allowed to do that. Market to other first. You're allowed to wash your hands, obviously in the morning or when you come out of the bathroom. But and then you have to dry them off. Only after you dry them off, my view is some apple point if you can pass over your face. I should note in the interest of uh, honesty and advertising that this whole Gemara here in our base was in Yuma as well, because it's all the same Gemara about the various different Inuim on Yom Kippur. Hiya holy uh 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 I'm sorry, skip. Uh a Rabbiana's uh uh Tari Tamartuta Yuna before Yom Kippur began, he would moisten uh a a a rag, the Yavit Khoska to put it under a pitcher to keep it fresh and we use it on Yom Kippur. As a Gmore of uh Tani, hey, what do you do with this price? It says Ain't been tish above the tiny seabor, so did she tish above in a regular tiny seabor, at least in Malakha Makov Shanagu. Except the prohibition to walk in a place where it's prohibited to do so. Sounds like it's not always prohibited to do so, right? Just in certain places. But I mentioned the band doing walk on every time in Seaboard. It's a good question. So a good question that you shall me does not answer it neither here nor in Yuma. to or to his daughter. Father Biamni passed on a tinus through a through a sea or the north through a river. And Ochoishis does not be afraid that he washed his clothes as a result. Need or or wash himself as a result. Nitfu Ragla, if his feet got dirty, uh similarly on on uh, on the tinus, might be on my you could dunk the water in a coach not to be afraid that's considered bathing. Hoy Rabbi Boke, I ain't Tanya. Rabbi Bob Paskin like this. Hoy Rabbi Agra said, Pepa Minaya Sunny comes on the wave of your cares and his feet feel bad. Not that they're dirty. They just need uh, you know, some pampering. Uh Kaos love the 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 Shemuta Khitz of mine is allowed to wash him in water. Time we learned other menu that person who's available is a person who is in Khairem, who's not allowed to wear shoes, so you mouth him a Nevertheless, I have to walk down the road. Mutam nil sasam the lot to wear shoes. She have all here, and they come to the city. You call so they have to take them off. Chaim tishva, so to the status and tishva, and on the tiny seaboard. Besicha, you're forbidden to be do anointing on tiny seaboard. A time like that, which learned b'shabes, on shabes, ben sicha sheishal tiny ben sicha sheishal tanu, anointing yourself, whether it's for pleasure or not, they're both mutter. We don't keep pouring with the bain siko she shall tiny bain siko she eno shall tiny whether it's anointing for pleasure or anointing not for pleasure, also is forbidden. 
Anointing with oils and drinking. They said that they're both prohibited the same way. Tashlumi, you both have to pay, you, you pay. Whereas if you anoint yourself with trum oil or swallow trum oil, you have to pay the, uh, the, the, the principal and an additional chomesh, right? I have a low onish, but you don't get the same punishment. If you ingest the truma, zap, kaboom, you get chorus. If you uh, uh, anoint yourself with trum oil, then you don't get chorus, you just transgress a negative command. Yom Kippur and Yom Kippur is onish. Yom Kippur is equivalent in terms of the prohibition and not the punishment. I forgot what this means. Punishment Yom Kippur and Tishuba. Yeah, Yom Kippur and Sikha is not at the same level of Isser's drinking. I guess that's what it means. They're both Usser, but it's not the same punishment. That's probably what it means. They're both awesome, but it's not the same punishment. Vatariya, that's Gemara. How can you say it's not the same punishment? doesn't say in Teiro. Lechalu, do not desecrate Yom Kippur. It's this week's Pasha, I think. Lerabas, the Sassar, what's the Shreyas? It teaches that both a person who anoints or drinks or desecrates Yom Kippur, so it should be the same. So it says the Gemara, I'm Rabbi Elchon, Leiskan Sach, take out anointing from, from this Joshua. De- delete it. Cut and do not paste I'm not Avram. Avram said, "Eleiskan uh, won't work. Eleiskan schah sach. If you don't say this possible, this chalu is going on anointing. Eleiskan choice it can't be going on drinking either, because the low cane. If that's not the case, if you say that that um, that drinking is learned, that drinking is learned from this pasuk of loy chalu, supposed to eating being learned from the pasuk of." Uh, so how are you ever going to give them the same punishment for drinking and eating right we give for drinking and eating the same punishment which is chorus right mm-hmm. so if the non say if if drinking is sort of different possible than eating is so why how could it have the same punishment perhaps it's a lower punishment perhaps only a lot so therefore he says eating can't be learned out, drink can't be learned out from the loy chalu because that would be a separate lab and have several parameters, right? Um, let me rephrase that. Yeah, drinking can't be learned outside possible from eating. Eat a half a share, they don't join together. Because it would be pasuk. One is one pasuk, the other is another pasuk. Never the twain shall meet. What does your have mean, huh? That they should be mitzdarif to the same share. But if you say they're from the same pasuk, then does it make sense? So he says, really, v'loyichalu can't be the source for drinking. We have the source for anointing, but not for drinking. That's what he says here. Okay? The local double shoe bomb, Magma Shay Lavi, Mitzdarif. That was the case, which caused the two separate lavi, eating and drinking. How could they possibly have a hab me to join together? We need a mission to be included. So it must be that Loy Chalu is just for Sach. It must be either it's for anointing or not for anything. Just generic. Minachu Chuvu Chuvarva, I say. I know it's prohibited to, to uh, with the mitzvahs I say to use. Now this is going back to trum oil. To use trum oil improperly. So the, the Rabbi Rabbi Lezer, Shem Rabbi Simai said, I'll tell you why. Because it says when you have meiser sheni oil, you have to save lona sati minel I didn't give it to a dead person. Manake, what are you talking about? If you're going to say that you use the meiser sheni oil to buy you know, to uh, a, a coffin and shrouds. Take out the next four words in order to appear in the in Yuma. You're not allowed to use magic shade money even to buy a shirt for a live person, right? You're only for food purposes. It certainly must be us for a mace. So, therefore, it must be when it says, don't give it to a mace, it can't be referring to buying. Other material other than foodstuffs, rather it means Azu Dovish Mutter Lakaiva Oslamaze, well say which is mutter for a human being. They're prohibited to do for a dead person from my Tushani oil, have Yoimir Sikha must be anointing. Now we see that the mitzvah say to avoid 
anointing a mace with true oil, and that teaches us that the proper use of the true oil or maitashani oil is the mitzvah so say. Okay? Being a sandal, you are forbidden to put on shoes. If a time you learn to call the show, so even in a sandal, all those are forbidden to put on shoes. You are today when they go on the way. No, they're allowed to put on shoes. You hear a crack when they get to a city close to the take off, they take off their shoes. The chen vava sotu is true by a worn and renewed that person is put in the chen. East side titles say Yotzim on Pali Beyond Kippur when he's allowed to wear one socks on Yom Kippur. East side titles says any Yotzim you're not allowed to. On my Rav Chistaman, our Yotzim says you can, but Pali Shabegit, it's a fabric sock. On the any Yotzim says you cannot, but Pali Shul, or it is a leather sock. Ah, Rabbi Yitzchak Bar Nachman, so like he went, Gabi, Rabbi Shemalevi, Rabbi Shemalevi, Bilele Tzami Abba, on Yom Kippur night. Nothing Levash, Lele Gabi, so Rabbi Yitzchak Bar Nachman came out towards him, Levash Sol Yitzchak, wearing a soulless shoe. A shoe which had no soul. I mean, not no soul, no heel. It was just, also really no soul, it was just a flat piece of leather on the bottom. But it was leather! Armalese said, Ma'achim is like a slipper, I guess. What is this? Armalese said, It's this on the young, particularly sensitive, and therefore I need to wear something on my feet. Rabbi Yeshua ben Nachman, Sal Kabi, Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi, Rabbi Yeshua ben Nachman, went to Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi, Belele Tanis on the night of Atanis, Nafil Kabi, Lavish Salisa came out wearing one of these slipper type things. Armalese said, Ma'achim, what's going on here? Armalese, this is the and the same idea. Rabbi Shemi, Chamunay Nafik, Lavish Salisa, Belele Tanis, they saw him wearing out a, a, um, uh, this, this slipper on for a tight night. Chata midim in Rabbi Mona. Similarly, a student Rabbi Mona, Hori Lechad Mikriv in Yeshaya, told one of the relatives of the the Nosia of the Nosia in the Milvash Shalisa that they can put on uh, the, this type of slipper on Yom Kippur. Armor late, so he said. So that when the student told this to a certain individual who was related to the Nosia, so that fellow said, "This word missing. It should be on." Where do you get this from? So he said, "Me, I tell you, me not though there was Shimon Levi, there was Shimon Levi, said there was Shimon Levi, and Mark East and So every letter, all these people would have put on their shoes. Now, these people didn't have to go out to visit. So why, why aren't they just? I guess to go to shul. I guess no, I thought they were visiting. The oh, because they're going to the Rebbe, probably yeah. right. They're going to the Rebbe. So that take that supersedes yeah. the uh, keep it up, yeah. Okay. Um, says the Gemara further, Rechitza, right? Atashimita. Tashmita is also. So says so Gemara, uh, I understand. Of course it's also. Isa Chamei, come and see Birchit Saucer. What happens if you go to the mikveh to have a Tashmishamita in the old days? What did you have to do? Go to the mikveh. So you can't go to the mikveh in your kippur. How are you going to have relations, right? It can't, can't be. Isa Chamei, Birchit Saucer, Tashmita, Lakoshke, Sankavachomer. Uh, uh, t- 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 no, it's either Mokvashay Tavli, basically people don't go to the mikveh after they have relations, you know, misnag them. But, uh, or, Kadim Shul Koydem, actually, he's going to ask the Tila Baal Karen before Ezra made Takana that people have relations should go to the mikveh. Rabbi Yaakov Rachel Ravi Bishim Rabbi Shemalevi said, and carry Alamitash Mishamita. You don't become a Baal Karen unless you had marital relations. Only then do you have to go to the mikvah. Even if you saw yourself having relations in a dream. Have a point in memory. They want to say, He should always saw himself having relations with a with a woman. Even they saw the guy, guy some who had saw himself having relations with a goat. He still has to go to the mikvah if he saw a carry in his dream. Now it's interesting, the Chidusha Radal in the Bible here says, Gaval de Gekula here, he says, whatever person saw ha- had a dream, ha- had an emission, but it wasn't even a dream. Not, not even a dream, or, or even if it was a dream, let's say in his dream he saw himself going to the bathroom, and then he had an emission. So in that he says, you don't have to go to the mikvah. Because it says here, even though you saw, you had, you had, you had an emission in the course of a dream, it says you have to see in the dream yourself having relations, at least with something else. Maybe not a woman, maybe a goat, maybe a rock, but you have to have relations with something, a mannequin. But here, yeah, but if a person that could be the Rodal says, and this he deduced, a person just had an emission because 
he saw himself going to the bathroom or he didn't have a dream in animation that Itaka doesn't need to feel Asezra. It's a great kula. I don't recall any such kula in the, in the Ushami and only, in the Bavli. I don't recall even the Gemara saying this. The Radal didn't say, actually, look, the Radal didn't say this back in Yuma when we learned the same sugya. But here he says, and it's a very good chiddush, very good deal. Tam and Tanan learns of the Yom Kippurim Oser Barachila now to eat, rishtia, drink, or chitza, wash, seek, or anoint, meal, sasan, and put on shoes, teeth, tash, and meat, and have relations. But I know we learned on the other hand concerning this, Bali Kari, on a person who is a Bali Kari Yom Kippur, Tayl and Kedagam, Sinab Yom Kippur, and they can table themselves in private in Yom Kippur. What says more lace about Pliga, we should believe this argument, we should believe it, should believe it said, Ain't Kerli with Tashmish Amito. The only because about Kerli from Tashmish. How did you get? He had no kid Tashmish on, t- uh, on, on Yom Kippur. So it says the Gemara, Apostle of Misha, you're right. Now, now, we're talking about a case, Misha Shimish, we toss him about Yom. So we had relations, Arab Yom Kippur. The Shach, he forgot, Lo Tov, and he called the Mikko, so that this price was being martyred in the gold to make my Yom Kippur. Of course, we don't bask away, but that's what the price was being martyred. So that's my way of it. Don't we know some Isaac Rabbi Yisrael Chalafta? Shiroh Tov, and also Betzina, they saw him toiling in secret in Yom Kippur. Obviously, he wasn't so secret, but he thought it was secret, right? On Yom Kippur. Can he say you forgot? So it must be. That uh, the, that uh, person uh, can go has to keep go to the mikvah and kipper even if he didn't have tash mishamito even if he saw it in a dream whatever the case was but it's a right against Rabbi Shulman Levi again like Rabbi Shulman Levi you only have to go to the mikvah if you had ta- actual tash mish but that can't be on Yom Kippur you didn't have actual tash mish and can't say something about a guy who forgot because that doesn't explain uh, the Rabbi Yisrael Chalafta who certainly did not forget so it must be that you go to the mikveh even if he didn't have actual Tashmish, but he had Tashmish in a dream. In some way, shape, or form, he still had to go to the mikveh. Okay? Ra'ida be'pazi, a little bit of a gat, the Ra'ida be'pazi, Rabbi Chaim, Rishem, Rishmul, Rav Yitzchak, said, Noach b'knisos l'teva Noach, when he entered the ark, nestled the Tashmish, and he was forbidden to have marital relations. My time, Apostle teaches us, it says, Uvos l'teva, she comes to the ark, Ata, Uvonecho, you and your sons, the males, for each one your wife and shame and every talk and the wives of your sons with, with with you. So it's two separate, one for the men, one for the women. There's a mechitza there. So they didn't have now to have relations. With Yosef, when he came out, who's alone touched Mishamita without to have relations? By the time of Pesach, there's this same in our table. Come out from the table. I tell you, ve each to call any wife. In other words, instead of you and your kids versus your wife and and their wives, right? It's you and your wife and your kids and their wives. So the couples are reunited, so to speak. So that teaches us that when they came out of the table, they're allowed to have beer again. It was a when they came out of the uh, table. That's true. Uh, I guess this is even earlier than that. I'm Rabbi Chia Barbal and Shpichosem Yatsum in table. They came out in families. I, why? I, they should shimud Shimud since these will be the, the, the people and the uh, the species which entered the table were ones which did not cross breed across uh, across uh, 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 lines of species, so that's how they were saved. Tail Choshu Kenish this is true because the three individual entities, animals and human beings, who did not preserve the prohibition on relations in the table and they were punished. You know, we learned Kham, the person, Kelev, the dog, Vorev, the ravens, Kiklumasem, they ruined, they did bad in the day when they had relations. So what what happens? Oh, Cham, some of his kids came out. Slaves. So, Kanaan. Mefucha means. Uh, Hakam is like a something like ash. Coal. Black. Okay. Kelev. A dog came out. Yotzah mefurtzim mitash misha. Mefurtzim is like mefursam. He came out on the, uh, uh, that that his tashmish, his relations, a dog, dog's uh, 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 procreation is done in public. It's not just done in public, but they they actually copulate uh, back to back. So therefore, it's a particularly public spectacle. And I don't know enough about this about animal husbandry, but only dogs. That's what it says here. 
and they also they they can they have difficulty separating after they have relations. I don't know what that means. Beats me. But name it, so that's why uh, he, he came out uh, that like that. And the raven, or if you had some shenanigans, it came out stam different. The raven uh, impregnates his uh, mate by verb orally. Not they don't have, uh, or if they do, they don't use them. They don't have genitalia. They do it orally, so that's how they came with all punished. Omer Avinu said, "Ksiv it says bechoser uvekafan when you're lacking and when you're hungry, gamud be alone." Meaning, b'shoshat roch yisarim b'alam when you see shortcoming coming to the world, lack of food, I say shlo gamud and make your wife alone. Meaning, don't have relations with her in a time of famine. Or my relative, it says, it says about Ksiv, it says, Yosef, you watch Nebun, Yosef had two kids, Amosai, when? Beterim Tavosh Nasara, before the family began. Tanisha Ravu, the same name Ravu, the Te'eve Bani people who desire children, those they don't have children yet, Bishab Shimito saying they're allowed to have relations even during years of famine. Um, Rabbi Yisrael said it will vad be Yom Shetavla on the day that she goes to Mikvah. Now, there's a big machlokus what this means. There are three possible interpretations. One is that even the guys who want to have kids, could the need kids, can only have relations with their wives on the day she goes to the Mikvah if it's a famine year. Why? Because that night, right, she comes out of the Mikvah in the, in the cycle, she's particularly suited to become pregnant. But the rest of the time she can because it's not proper to have relations during the uh, when everybody else is hungry another interpretation is that everybody's allowed to have relations on the night that their wife goes to the mikvah even in times of famine and the people who are looking to have their first kids they can have relations even not on the night that she goes to the mikvah yet a third interpretation is that even though the guy who doesn't have any kids is allowed to have relations but should abstain from relations on the night that his wife goes to the mikvah in order to show solidarity with all the people who cannot have relations. And uh, I think it's actually a fourth interpretation. Maybe the, 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 the uh, may have mistaken about that third one. But the fourth interpretation is that nobody, that really everybody can have relations when there's a famine, but not on the night which she goes to the mikvah. That's the extent of the abstention required. Bottom line is it's not clear what the exact line means, but there's a difference between the night of tefillah and all the other nights. And we'll stop here for tonight.